Dear students, detailed civil engineering courses like Manual Building Design, Stat Pro, ETAP, SAP, Revert, AutoCAD, Primavera, P6 are available at Civil Engineering Stavan online application app. So download the application from the Google Play Store now. Each course contains 50 plus high quality video contents and free PDFs and exercises and online certification will be provided after completing the course. Course will be available at 67 to 70% discount now and valid up to 6 months. Download Civil Engineering application now from Google Play Store or direct link is available at the description of this video. Try to utilize this offer. So in this class, I will explain you the plan irregularity of the building structural model by using uh, SAP 2000 software. So for that initially, I will create the building model. So I will save that building model. Then after that, I will make that particular building model to irregularity. So here I am selecting my SAP 2000 software. Now you can see here the software was opened here like this. Firstly click on the file option. Click on new model option. Select the units initially kilometer meter as well as the default is Indian. Select 3D frame only. So here I am selecting 3D frame for this model. So number of stories I am assuming here is uh, 10 story building structural model. Otherwise if you want uh, 9 stories or 8 stories you can select depends upon your consideration. So number of base along horizontal direction 9 meter I am taking here. Each will be consisting of 3 meter. Again vertical direction also 9 which is consisting of 3 meter I am selecting here. And we will add the beam sections, column sections. Click on the place mark option. Click on add new property for that. Select the concrete rectangle. This time giving the property as column section with 0 0.69 cross 0 0.69 is the dimensions. Click on empty grade concrete. So we will uh, click on the reinforcement option and we will select the number of the bars which is consisting of 4 by 4. And I am selecting 16D diameter of the bar and 8D is the diameter of the bar. Click on OK option. Now after this we have to click on OK. Now we will add the new property, rectangular property, we will select the beam. This time selecting this particular property which is related to 0 0.46 cross 0 0.3 is the dimensions for the beam. So here I am selecting concrete reinforcement, select the as beam and we will add the material property as uh, just I am taking here as Indian rebar which is comes under 500 grade. Otherwise if you go under 415 you can add. So here I am assuming only the 415 grade for this model. So you can assume the top cover as 30 as well as the bottom cover as 30 for this click on OK. Again click on OK. So we will select the column section here. We will click on the modify option. Now we can see this is the properties and this is the properties which is related to the beams. If you want you can change or increase the dimensions. So for simple understanding just I am changing this property to 0 0.69. Click on OK. We will change the property from column to beam here. Click on column here. Click on OK option. Now after this it will show you the complete 3D view for this building model which is consisting of your beams and column section for this. So right hand side will be consisting of 2D view and left hand side will be consisting of 3D view for this model. Okay. Now we will change this to left hand side to uh, plan view and right hand side to 3D view. Now after this we have to make this model to irregularity of the structure. So for that just I am coming to the top section. Now I am deleting. Uh, some beam sections and column section in order to make this structure to irregularity. So for that just I am selecting this uh, beams and column section which so now I am deleting this uh, members which is related to beams. So click on delete option. So we will delete this uh, models again in the same process I am deleting uh, some members like this click on delete option. 
so that it will make the model to irregularity of the structure okay so again in the same process i am selecting some other members which are helps to make this uh, structural model to irregularity so click on delete option now we can see it will make the structure to irregularity here like this again in the same process we have to delete all the members which is presented in different floors so again i am coming to the top section just i am deleting this 4 by 4 this is 4 by 4 again i am selecting this 3 okay again i am coming to the top section again i am sel select this 4 by 4 again i will select 4 by 4 again i am selecting this 3 by 3 again i am coming to the top will select this will select this again we will select this again i am coming to the top so we will select this options okay again i am coming to this location again i am coming to this location again i am going to the top section this time selecting this 4 uh, by 4 again i am selecting this 4 by 4 or else you can select a 3 by 3 also actually i was selected 3 by 3 for the members at this right hand side bottom section location that's why i am selecting 4 by 4 here again i am coming to the top section in the same process i am selecting 3 by 3 this way will be a 4 by 4 again this sorry again this is 4 by 4 go to that come to the top 4 by 4 we have to delete 4 by 4 again 3 by 3 i am selecting here again i am coming to the top delete this up some property again i am selecting this again i am selecting this again i am coming to the top so this i am selecting here again i am selecting this 4 by 4 property so here i am selecting here okay click on delete option so that it will delete the properties at that location but it will not delete the uh, column sections at that particular location we have to delete those property by using uh, this front view okay so select this option now i am coming to the xz plane view otherwise directly go to view option 2d view option you can select here so this is the plane which is of x uh, y plane we will select xz plane this time selecting this location click on apply option so now we have to select this uh, location b uh, sorry column sections so again i am selecting this column sections again i am going to this location click on apply now we will select this column sections at this portion again at this portion now i am coming to this location click on apply so now i am selecting this location points again i am selecting this points again i am coming to this click on apply so you can delete this members at this location only here so again i am coming to this click on apply no need to delete the property at this location again i am coming here click on apply now i will select all these beams again i am coming to this location click on apply now we will select all these properties at this location in the same process i am coming here click on apply so we will select the property if you have a delete option okay so now we will click on delete option so that the properties related to beams and columns will be deleted for this uh, member so now i will show you this model click on the 3d rotate option now we can see this was irregularity which is made as per the plan okay now we will add the slab section for this building for that go to bottom section again i am coming to the ground floor section click on define option initially we will define the area section shell section click on add this time selecting 150 mm is the thickness for the slab so click on thickness which is of 0.15 and this is also 0.15 for this member click on okay option again we will select the uh, okay option for this model so now we will select this uh, quick draw areas option in order to draw the slab sections so here i am drawing the slab sections at this ground story level now you can see it was drawn here like this but we have to delete the uh, sections which is related to slab sections at the corner sections okay so select the standard fill fill objects apply to all windows click on apply click on okay now we will delete the property set this portions so for that just i am selecting this property again i am selecting this property again i am selecting this property click on delete option now after that we have to select this uh, slab section go to select select uh, properties slab section area section select 150 now we will apply the replicate for this slab remaining floors so here i am assuming floor number will be of uh, 
फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन नंबर्स गो टू एडिट रिप्लीकेट सो विच इज कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ डीजेड वैल्यूज थ्री एंड नाइन नाइन सेक्शन नंबर ऑफ द फ्लोर्स क्लिक ऑन अप्ले ऑप्शन सो दट इट विल कॉपी द प्रॉपर्टी इन जेड डायरेक्शन कंडीशन सिस्टम क्लिक ऑन ओके Now after this, we will apply the support conditions at the base for this model. So you can see here, this is the irregularity. So we will select the supports, go to assign, joint, restraints, select the fixed support. Click on apply option. Click on OK option so that it will apply the support conditions at the base for this model. Now after this, we have to uh, apply the load cases. Go to define option for that. Select load patterns option. So here we are already done with the dead loading condition system definition. So select the live load initially. This time adding earthquake load, which is related to uh, x direction condition system. I am selecting here, and we have to consider the quick as per the IS code provision standard system, which is of 1893 2016. In the same process, I am selecting earthquake load in y direction condition. Click on apply. Again, I am selecting wind load, which is in x direction. This time I am selecting sorry wind load, which is in x direction. We will select the load which is of wind condition system. Select. Code according to IS, uh, sorry IS. Uh, now we will select the code according to IS 875 2015. Again, I am selecting wind load which is in y direction condition system. Now I am selecting earthquake load. Modify lateral load. We will select x direction 0.36 value. Click on OK. Again, I am selecting this. Click on modify lateral load. We will select the direction which is of y direction condition system. Click on OK. Wind load in x direction. Just I am selecting here. Again, I am selecting this parameter according to 44 and terrain category 3. I am selecting here 0 0.86 value. Click on OK. Again, I am selecting wind y modify lateral load. So we will select 44 and this is terrain category will be of 3 and wind direction angle is 90. Coefficient of CP value which is wind y direction is 0.86 here. Now after this, we have to apply the load cases. For that, just I am selecting all this building model. Initially, we will assign joint load forces. Select the load which is related to one, 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 one. So click on add to existing load for this building. Click on apply option so that it will apply the fixed. Uh, sorry, uh, apply the self-aid condition system for the building. Now after this, we have to apply the wall loading condition for this structure. Go to select option for that. Select, select option, select properties related to frame section. Select the beams option. Click on select option. Go to assign option. Frame line load, distributed condition. So at existing load. So here I am selecting 24.3 kilonewton per meter is the intensity we will consider. Click on apply option. Now after this we will apply the load which is related to the floor load condition system. So go to select option for that. Select properties, area section. This time I am selecting slab 150 option. Go to assign option here. Select uh, Just I am selecting area load, which is of uniform shell, dead loading condition. So here I am assuming here as two kilonewton per meter square intensity for the floor load condition system. In the same process, we will select the load which is related to uh, live loading condition system. Instead of dead load, I am changing live load, which is related to 3.5 kilonewton per meter square. I am assuming by selection of this option, click on apply option so that it will apply the live load condition system. Now we will do the analysis process for this. Go to analyze option. So create analysis model so that it will create the analysis model for this building. Now we will do the analysis for this structural model. Go to analyze. Click on run now anal analysis option. Click on run now option so that it will do the analysis process. Initially we will save this model. Horizontal irregularity. Just I am assuming here. Click on save option so that it will do the analysis process. Then after that we will check the results which is related to deflection, shear, bending, torsion, etc. For this model. So you can see here, this is the deflection diagram for this building model under the considerations of the dead load. You can click on the display forces. So you can consider the forces display. Sorry, display forces. You can consider the frame spandrel force. You can select the shear to to click on apply option so that it will display the shear force diagram. Again, in the same process, you can pick moment three three option. So this is the bending moment diagram. 
Again, you can select the torsion diagram, click on apply so that it will display the torsion diagram for this building under the uh, different uh, load combinations. Okay. So this is the complete process of horizontal irregularity building analysis by using SAP 2000 software. If you want, you can directly do the designing section. Go to design option, concrete uh, view, revised preferences, select IS codebook provision standard system 456-2000. Click on OK. The procedure process is saved. That's why I am doing the fast designing section here. Click on the quick design option so that it will do the designing process for the frame section. Then after that, it will show you the complete uh, percentage of the steel and uh, uh, reinforcement which is obtained for this model. So in this way, you can do the designing process by using SAP 2000 software. Now you can see this is the longitudinal reinforcement area. Again in the same process, go to display, uh, design option, select this option, display design information related to rebar percentage, click on OK. So that it will show you the rebar percentage which is shown for this model. Okay. So in this way, you can do the designing process for the horizontal irregularity building.